Bösendorfer in Vienna's Neustadt. Bösendorfer can be counted among the oldest piano manufacturers in the world. Grand pianos have been built here since 1828. Since 1828, it is a craftsmanship rendered by hand, even today in this high-tech day and age. Besides one or two processes, everything at Bösendorfer is still done by hand. Ferdinand Breu is technical manager at Bösendorfer and is awaiting a customer today. Not a pianist in this case, and not a sales partner for Bösendorfer pianos either. In this case, it's an automobile designer. Audi is producing a piano with Bösendorfer, and with the significance that design enjoys at Audi, you can be sure that this is going to be a piano of a very special kind. Audi Concept Design Munich is discreetly located in a back courtyard in the metropolis on the Isar River. This style shop not only produces designs for new car models but also for Audi accessories, from keychains to bicycles, and last but not least, the Bösendorfer piano designed by Audi. It all has to do with the fact that the Audi Forum in Ingolstadt organizes a jazz concert series throughout the year. And for this jazz series, a Bösendorfer concert piano was rented regularly. This, of course, led to the idea of constructing a Bösendorfer piano in our own Audi design specifically for this concert series. Designing accessories or automobile bodywork is one thing. An entire piano that in its predominant form has been uniformly constructed for over 300 years, that's something else. The commission to design a piano is initially very attractive, but also very demanding. From the very beginning, we knew that we did not want to transform a piano into an automobile. Five designers, numerous drafts from which just as many sub-variants are derived. One to ten scale models, one to five scale models, hand-drawn sketches on paper, hand-drawn sketches on LCD, three-dimensional CAD animations. All of this spread over three years of development in order to arrive at a concept that in the end represents typical Audi design reflected in a piano. But will the same thing that works for an automobile also work for an object as classical as a concert piano? Actually, there were parameters in the design that were very difficult to realize. In the Bösendorfer showroom in Vienna, the classic Bösendorfer sound is essential for the customer, not the design. Considering, of course, that the build of pianos has remained virtually unchanged for 300 years, usually incorporating baroque elements of style. Nonetheless, Bösendorfer has time and again fulfilled special requests from, for example, extravagant star pianists or collectors. We have to try to as a matter of principle, we try to realize everything that is possible. It is indeed a great challenge, especially the top's profile, this curve here that departs completely from the traditional piano body. It's not only the unconventional curves of the Audi piano that put Bösendorfer to the test. The piano manufacturer had to harmonize the demanding design parameters from Audi with the demanding construction parameters of a Bösendorfer concert piano the frame and body of a Bösendorfer having to be able to withstand immense stress. You have to remember that a piano string is subjected to 750 Newton. With 250 strings, this means several thousand kilograms of pressure on the construction. And still, a Bösendorfer must last a long, long time, which is ensured by the structure's frame. By virtue of this construction, a concert piano can hold up for 100 years perfectly, despite the enormous forces placed on it. And the piano must also have that very special Bösendorfer sound, a characteristic for which, among other things, each individual hammer's felt is worked by hand. Although a piano's construction is a considerable challenge even without special parameters, the intense collaboration between Audi Design and the technical department of Bösendorfer led to the achievement of... 
we were able in the end to reach a realization rate of 99% of the chosen design. In my opinion, that is very high. What's exceptional is that we have a new concept for the legs. The piano is not standing on three points, but on two long rails. And we have a free-floating keyboard encasement and an outstanding feature, the closed side panel that encircles the body. The entire piano body is a sounding body. The designers and the manufacturers are hoping that the side panel will serve to intensify the bass tones. We are absolutely convinced that the client who sees this piano later will immediately notice that he has something very special in front of him. It has to remain a true Bersendorfer concert piano. We cannot reinvent it, but it seems that we did it anyway.